2004 live. Yes. <laughs> Tonight we'll be meeting the godfathers of television football comedy. We'll be recreating one of the greatest upsets in the history of international football. And we'll be saying a big hello to Aston Villa's Peter Crouch. Hello. Oh. Yes. You see, someone did yeah. send in a vegetable that looked like a footballer. <laughs> yes. Lovely Peter well Crouch to that person. But first, a few things we noticed from watching the tournament so far. We spotted tonight that the Portuguese manager, Luiz Philip Scolari, has found an odd place to leave his chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, I like the way the cameramen kept finding gorgeous Portuguese women in the crowd tonight. Well, and, and Spanish women. Well, there's one thing that puts me off Spanish women. <laughs> yes. And ahead of the Croatia game, there are fears that the pressure is getting to Sven Goran Eriksson and that he has had a mental breakdown. <laughs> Oh, he looks it's bad. sad to see. He's, yeah. he's aged. Mm. And, and a warning to the England players before the big game: don't ever let Croatian defender Igor Tudor drive you through roadworks. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Igor. Have another go, mate. Go on. You can do it, son. Oh. <laughs> well, I think that's pretty hopeful for tomorrow. Yeah, nothing to worry about, I'd say. Yeah. How are you, Stato? <laughs> Every time, What's his name? before they do it. <laughs> Stato, who was that uh, Peter Crouch from? From Joe Street from Worcester. Oh, that's very good. And have we had any other vegetables that look like footballers? Yeah, we've had a piece of broccoli sent in. That was from uh, mm. Jez Smith, and he came from Newmarket. Oh, well, thank you, Jez. Actually, I have that piece of broccoli right here. And I wonder, oh, yes. Yes, I wonder if anyone Ooh, can... Oh, yes. Yes, it's a piece of broccoli, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Sorry. And I wonder if anyone can tell me what footballer this piece of broccoli is meant to be. Guy Whittingham? <laughs> <laughs> a very good Didn't call, man. Didn't he used to be on Magpie? Jason, eh? Jason Lee. No, no, no. Not no. Jason Lee. Anyone else? Peter no? Shilton. Peter <laughs> Shilton? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think Peter Shilton's dead? <laughs> so, uh, so tell us who oh, it is, Frank. Newsflash. Oh, dear. Yeah. Tell us it's it actually Owen Hargreaves. Uh, there he is. Look, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Look. <laughs> That's good, I think. <laughs> I can see they were really impressed by yeah. that. <laughs> yes. People saying, I believe that is Owen Argrey. Yeah. <laughs> Did you spot any other? Yeah, well, I noticed another lookalike tonight watching the, uh, the big game. Now, this one is the Portuguese manager, Luis Felipe Scolari, right? That's him. Now, I don't know if you know this, if you're older members might, but there used to be a silent movie star called Ben Turpin, and that's who I think he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good lookalike. It's... It's not exactly perfect, though. Is there anything we can do about that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Spot on now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and there's, there's not many shows where you get Ben Turpin lookalikes anymore, are there? Yeah, and broccoli. Yeah. Fabulous. And speaking of the managers, it's time for another in our series. Scary devils, the nonsense and the silly. Tonight. One of the England trainers... I'm relaxed. One you of the England relaxed. trainers <laughs> pulls relaxed. a plastic bag out of Bobby Robson's arse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, By the way, you know, uh, Latvia drew with Germany the other day? Yes. I, like, I, was, I was supporting them because I've actually got a Latvian great-grandfather. Completely true. There he is, actually. That is him. That is Barney Badil, my great-grandfather from Barney? Latvia. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's him. I'll tell you, he came over in, at the end of the 19th century and he ended up in Swansea because he was trying to get to America and he just got off the boat and no one ever told him. It wasn't <laughs> That's absolutely true. He was actually he was escaping from the pogroms. Oh, really? <laughs> what, the, the match day pogrom? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Anyway, that's enough. <laughs>
<laughs> I liked it. Yes, I liked it too. That's enough about your family anyway. To celebrate the host nation getting through to the quarterfinals tonight, let's have a bit of Portuguese pantomime. Oh, look, boys and girls, it's my horse. <laughs> Mr. Horse, Mr. Horse, why not tell the boys and girls how old you are? One, two... remember that a couple of shows ago we had some German fans in the audience and, and do you remember do you remember yeah, yeah. And their club is, it doesn't exist anymore so they now hire themselves out to support anyone and we got them to support England in in Germany so we've got some film of them here doing that and they did do really well as England fans but unfortunately they only knew one proper chant so after that they had to make up their own ones <laughs> Love to see, and it's so fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might catch on. Why didn't the FA go for that as yeah. a fish? Much better than altogether now. Yeah, that'd have worked well. There's all. No, 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 Mm, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, you got anything else? We've also had a cherry bin sent in that looks <laughs> like a footballing personality, and that's from haven't. Jenny Duke from Worcester. Love it. Well, I've got that. They suggest a few people it could look like this uh, this cherry, but um, I think I think it looks like I don't know if you saw the game uh, the uh, Latvia game. I think it looks like the referee of that game, Mike Riley. Let's have a look. <laughs> it does look a bit like that. You know, Mike, Mike Riley actually was, he was the ref who didn't give Latvia this obvious penalty. He's going in low between the defenders, broke down, was he? Oh, and Mike Riley tells him to get to his feet. I know what my first instincts were. Bloody Mike Riley! What a, <laughs> what a stupid twat, Barney. <laughs> he should have given us that penalty. I, mean, I tell you, he doesn't look like that cherry, he looks like this cherry. Like a cock and balls. <laughs> Barney, for God's sake. By the way, very Statue of Liberty. Uh, this, the Statue of Liberty. Oh. That's really good, yeah. Anyway, thank you, Barney. Barney, <laughs> Barney has I think we should keep that. Yeah, Barney yeah. hasn't worked for years. Yeah. <laughs> He's programs. <laughs> oh yeah. I will tell you what we'll do. Let's have a look. What's um, what's on MTV? Em and me and Ivory live together. <laughs> Truly, Big Ron has saved the day. Yeah, he saved the day. Thank oh, goodness for Big Ron. dragged it back after Barney. Yeah, God, God bless God, it. it went all wrong and then Big Ron. <laughs> Have we got time for a Q&A? At all? Yeah, let, let, let's do a Q&A. I mean, these are anyone remember remembers. These. these are questionnaires from football pogroms. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when, when you get a match day programme and you often say, get players ask their favourite food and all that kind of thing. Here's, here's some fake. You, you I'll pick, pick one, one at random, shall I? Yes. OK, <laughs> this is a good one for you. It's Andy Hunt of West Brom, who was asked... Andy on Don Yes, all right. <laughs> Would you say you're a McDonald's or a Burger King man? And Andy replied... When I'm on holiday, Burger King. When I'm at home, it's McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting distinction. He was I always think. very... He was a bit oity toity uh, when he was on holiday, I think. I don't know. What's happened? Let's do another one. one. I wanna, you want to do another one? the audience to do one, shall we? Yeah. All right. What about you, madam? In your own time. <laughs> Peter Beardsley. Peter Beardsley, yeah. Okay. What, what would you do if you could be invisible for a day? And Peter said, stand at a pelican crossing and keep pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> well, good old Peter, he likes <laughs> a lot. Uh, have you got time to see what's happened to our German fans? I think he'd be particularly pleased to be invisible, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, he would, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what has happened to the German uh, We fans? saw them on the way to the bar. Let's see how they got on watching the England-Switzerland game. Come on, Tommy. Come on. 
Hello, Tommy. Is that, old, is, that old old is, that, is that the doorbell? Oh, it might be. Yeah, it is. Who is it, Dave? I'll see. I'm a bit excited. It's Satan oh. Greasy! Oh. Um, so, say so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. can I say, <laughs> yeah. it figures the Kalina, yeah. it's, it's an absolute honour to have you It on. is a real honour. In fact, you know, you are, as we said, the godfathers of uh, football television comedy, what do you think? Well, that's very nice of you, but we're not really worried what not. they think, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're more the grandfathers than yeah. the grandfathers. Well, well, it's nice to be on your exalted show, lads. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I don't think we'd be Although I've wasn't... already been on, as you know. Yes. Yeah. 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 But you have to piss out of me enough, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Game. It's all in the game, yes. <laughs> and stick around. We're hoping to squeeze a yeah. bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just milk it for a bit. Yeah. So, saying Greaves, it was a massive hit, though, wasn't it? It was a, it was a legendary programme. Uh, well, we'd like to think it was, yeah. I mean, it, it, uh, it started uh, not by accident, but we were just thrown together, yeah. weren't we? It was yeah. on the ball and and then World of Sport finished on ITV and, and they wanted to keep the show, so they called it Saint and Gravesy. Yeah. Uh, and we took it from there, you know, that, that was it. You all remember it, because I know there's some younger members. You remember it, was, it was hot stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 We got it, we got to... <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. be, I mean, be fair, it was better than this, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> God, it was better than this. Well, yeah. we've, got, we've got a clip from it, and we're showing this clip particularly uh, oh, here we because. Go. Here we go. <laughs> no, actually, well, it's it, not this about is you, more, Jim, so more much. about Saint. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. We'd like you to. So we've been looking at this, and we can't work it out. Can you tell us, Saint, what are you doing in this clip? Which um. is the biggest problem? <laughs> I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> Oh, you do. That's the biggest stretch to get. <laughs> what do you do? You're doing ballet. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I must have been just getting a little stretch. A little stretch. stretch. What? Yes. <laughs> well, we footballers, we were used to was stretching, that? you know, some was little stretch. Oh, what, you were warming up. That was us just who before the show. Who was that? Who was that? Was that? Don't have a row. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But so, so yeah, when did it? When did it go off the air? It, it went off the air in in 19. 92. Yeah. No, no, it was later, Jimmy, obviously later than that. No, yeah. we, we did the we, Sweden. Sweden when, when was it? Sweden, tick? You, when, <laughs> when, 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 it was Sweden, in Sweden when Denmark European won the European Championships, yeah. 1992. Yeah. It was not. And we yeah. came on the air in 93, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, don't upset yeah. them, for goodness sake. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we all took over, really. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, we did. And I we thought you, were, like you were sort of John the Baptist to our Jesus, if you know. Yeah, like. I, yeah no, that's, that's true, Frank. Yeah, yeah. in I some mean, respects, yeah. We're yeah, all yeah, to cut so your heads off before he, the end of the show. He earned a bit more than John the Baptist, didn't he? Like you two. <laughs> Saint John the Baptist. Yeah, yeah Saint, yeah. Saint there you go. Baptist. The thing no, we what? liked best about... Oh, yes. about oh, yes. The thing we really liked about Saint Greavesy was the theme tune. Love that. Yes. That's it. We yeah. need that, yeah. well. that as well. <laughs> we did that as well. We did. Our theme, theme tune. tune is the old Satin Greasy yeah. theme tune. Yeah. yeah. Do we get royalties on that? I don't know. No. Did no. you write it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was interesting that. I remember. I can't remember the tune. I could pull up, was it? What, what can you remember? Actually. <laughs> 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 I've, I've got a big problem getting home from here, mate. Don't worry about that. Well, you don't have to divide I've yourself, here. Jim. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Oh, do you? Yeah, I came by car myself, yeah. Did you? That's very good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> Get a car for Jim. Yeah. yeah. I'm very no, I didn't have a car. I thought I'll come. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. Well, that way you can get a quick getaway as well, yeah. can't yeah. you? You, you know, uh, of course, we used to play you on our, on our you show. You did indeed. Yeah, yeah. Very did well, I might. Thank you very much. Did you see it, Saint? No, I, I don't know when you went out, to tell you the truth. Was, oh. yeah. but, <laughs> no, honestly, I mean, I'm not... 1993, you just said. When, when did you go? What day of the week was it? Um, well, I can't, we don't remember, remember that. that. They, they were go. very good. Don't, but we don't they. want the four of us sitting here talking about what we can't remember. <laughs> 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 it's getting on that last 
of the summer wally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, terrible. You're not far wrong there. Yeah. Well, we did used to do an impression. And what it was based on was it was when ITV lost Premiership football and you guys soldiered on talking about the Ensley League as if it was the most exciting football on the planet. Yeah, well, we, so we, we never did that. We, yeah, we, we, well, when they we finished, it. when they finished, that was it. We did Sky do it. We 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 did do one it. series talking about the Ensley League. Yeah, we did do some. Yeah, we, we got a clip of it here. I think. This, this, this yeah. is it. Here you are. We did do. Football sake. When's it coming back? <laughs> 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 We should talk about the European Championships. What about England, Croatia? Do you think we're going to beat them? Uh, yeah, uh, things are going our way a little bit now, I think. Uh, uh, not, not so much our game, but the Trezeguet goal should never have counted. Mm. So uh, that would have put the Croats still in front. The guy misses a, a sitter that's easier to score from with the last kick of the game. Hold on, I Those got... little things, I think... Hold on, Jimmy, I think Stato's got a bit of news about, about yeah. Otto Baric, the Croatian manager. Is yeah, that... he, he caused absolute outrage when he stated he didn't want homosexuals in the squad. Uh, I've got a quote, he said, I know there are no gays on my team, I can spot one in ten minutes, and I don't like having them in my team. <laughs> <laughs> that rules you two out. <laughs> Right. Fair enough. I, yeah. I probably shouldn't admit to this, but we were looking at a gay magazine the other day. Yeah, we were. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Saw this picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Off them to yeah. get them. That's you. That's crazy. That's crazy. They don't recognise you. I know. Recognize you, I think. Uh, no one who recognised me. I don't yeah. recognise yeah. myself. <laughs> Christ <laughs> almighty. Well, behave yeah. yourself or we'll show the other half of that picture. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. OK. Since you're here, Jim, I really think we should actually just show, show one of these as well. Times and bad, mate, am I glad to be brewing up for star names? Or in other words, you, uh, introduces Allo Allo's Vicky Michelle. Uh. It's Allo Allo's Yvette herself, Ricky Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well done. Oh, that was an absolute <laughs> die on your ass show. I, uh, <laughs> well, I hands up. Well, I know that you died on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now it's time for Phoenix from the Flames. Uh, uh, Phoenix from the uh, Flames. Phoenix from the Flames. Phoenix. So, Walt, you're one of the few surviving members of the American team who beat England 1-0 in the 1950 World Cup. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I was 23 at the time. But your victory didn't make much difference, though, did it? I mean, still no one knows about football in America. Well, uh, American women are very into soccer. They're very knowledgeable about it. Have you ever heard of the World Cup? Ain't that with the boat race? <laughs> <laughs> it's a boat race, isn't it? No. The World Cup of soccer. Well, no. Uh, that, what was that one with the boat? <laughs> well, OK, but, but we're learning. We've got TV experts now who are brilliant at instructing a nation at what really goes on at soccer games. Hi, I'm Chris Marlowe. And I'm Kyle Rowe, Jr. In soccer, your alliance with the team goes year-round, and so you either enjoy it or you suffer through it. And, of course, that's one reason why so much emotional attachment are to the teams of soccer. And some of those countries have a, have a slogan, just don't lose, baby. <laughs> We've done a bit of research, and we're not even sure you did beat us 1-0. What, what do you mean by that? Well, for a start, this is the official footage of that goal. Well, anyway, I think it's really important that we do a recreation which shows what really happened and which could replace the official footage, which, let's face it, is shite. <laughs> I took a shot. It was going to Burt Williams' his right. Joe Gachin's got his head to it and knocked it in uh, the other side. And America beat England 1-0. Yeah. Just one thing, Walter. Who actually compiled the official record of that game? If I remember rightly, it was the American Soccer Association's top statisticians. 
Hmm, I see. Nice goal, Stanley. Thank you, Tom. Now let's score a few more. Hi, I'm Kyle Rhodes, Jr. <laughs> and I'm Chris Marlowe. And we're here to record events on this great day for American soccer. Gee, Kyle, what happened there? Well, you see, Chris, that was England putting the ball in the basket at the end of the, uh, of the place, and... Yeah, uh, and I make that, what, three times now? Three times? Well, that's, uh, three strikes and you're out. Yeah, w which means... Uh, it's, uh, still 1-0 to the United States. <laughs> oh, great. What was that score again? Uh, 1-0, Chris. Great. So, America have won the World Cup. Uh, yeah. So, uh, let's go pitch side for the presentation ceremony. What the hell is that? I met that guy that scored the goal way back, 1964. We were over in America. Oh, oh my oh, God! It's, 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 it's the goal. You goes. played in that game, oh. didn't you, Jim? No. Can I say it's no, been an no, honour no. to it's have you on? Honor, the pleasure to have you on. The show. Who is this? That's it. Who is it? It's, it's only Ron Harris. It's Ron Harris. Oh. Have you come as Barney Badil? I sure have. Ron Harris. <laughs> Slimy, those German fans, <laughs> Fritz Carl and Hans, <laughs> they let cold guns, I'll bet. Greasy and Saint <laughs> were funny, just did the show for money. Oh, what a bar, he came so far.